Hey everyone, welcome back and in this episode we're going to be adding an admin user and a manager user and we're going to be doing so using claims and I'm going to attempt to explain the main difference between roles and claims and how to set it up. First of all, let's configure our identity. So after we add our application DB context, let's go into services, let's add a default identity and let's use our identity user. So this is the our user object, same as we store our products uh, in our application DB context. Uh, if if you remember, we inherit from identity DB context, and that basically uh, has a DB set with identity user, and basically that's what creates our identity tables for this identity user. So and then let's point it to um, uh, identity framework stores. We're basically saying it right pointed to application db context and this is where we're going to be storing this user okay cool so out of the bat I, I just want to configure it here so we don't have to configure this later let's pass some options and let's basically say right for our password i don't want uh, to require a digit i don't want a digit uh required length i want i want six at least uh require non alpha numeric so these are your dollar sign percentage i don't need those and required uppercase i don't want that either so this is just when i'm going to be creating a password because uh, for my development environment i like just to use password so i don't have to remember it okay so now that we have that configured let's go into our program and uh, before we start our program, let's store this in a host, and let's bring it up at the break it up at the build, and then at the end we want to run our host. So all we're doing here is we're basically saying right, uh, sort of build our application, and that will collect all the services, all the services we have here in our startup, and put them in a container available for us to use. So let's tr create a try catch block. So if this fails, we still want to run our application. So let's just uh, go to console and right line, and let's I'll put I'll put our message. Let's create a using block. All a using block does is uh, when we are gonna take some services from a container. We want to dispose of them in memory. So we use them and then they uh, they dispose safely. So we're not going to have any anything lingering around in the memory. C Sharp usually takes care of that, but this is just like an extra safe uh, method of doing it. So it, it will only exist for this scope. So let's create a scope. Let's host services, create scope. Uh, using dependency injection here. Let's bring out our context. So create a variable context. We'll scope service provider get required service and let's bring out application, application db context. Uh, let's copy this and let's rename this to user manager and user manager identity user and import identity user here uh, let's make some space here so if you haven't watched the blog and you're wondering what identity user is basically sorry what user manager is is if you are familiar with the repository patterns or same as we're doing with our services, where we're sort of um, abstracting a piece of functionality, like so. Uh, user manager is basically, if we go into it, we see all of these methods. This is what Microsoft builds for you and uh, how it sort of ab abstracts uh, user management. So for this object that you specify, it provides a generic... Uh, uh, a lot of generic methods that basically handle creating creating users, like adding claims to them, roles, 
etc. So first thing we want to do is in our database we want to make sure that it's created. So go to our contacts database and ensure that it's created. Next thing we want to do is check right do any users exist? So context users and any. So if there aren't any users that means we haven't put any there yet. So this is what we want to do here. So first of all, let's create an admin user and new identity user. And in here, the username, let's set it to admin. And don't need the semicolon here. Next thing I want to do is I would like to create a manager user and username let's call it manager okay next thing we want to do is we want to take the user ma uh, user manager and let's call create async so create async is just a method for if you read the description creates a, the specific user in the backing store with no password as an asynchronous operation next thing if we press f12 and we go into the user method you can see all the method that it implements and if you expand uh, uh, this here you can basically see the description for that method and that's pretty much with all the services uh, that microsoft provides if you are ever interested and you can't find the information and documentation f12 and read about the specific function so in here let's pass our admin user and let's provide a password going to be just password as I mentioned before uh, since this is not an async method let's get the awaiter and then we get the result let's copy this again and let's pass a manager user All right so at this point we create an admin user and we create a manager user now how do we know who's an admin and who's a manager well, certainly not by their username, because later on their usernames might be represented by their names, etc. So we're going to do so with claims. And heads up, you're not going to see a big difference between using roles if you have done them, if, if you have used them before, between using uh, claims in this context, right? Because the main difference between roles and claims is roles contain users and claims are something that a user has so claims are used to describe a user and roles contain a user so the main difference or how do you know which one to to use in your program is really up to you to decide which one is more semantically logical there is also a claims provide a possibility of uh, uh, sharing information about the user to different programs, but th this is more of an advanced topic, and this is why claims are actually a little bit more advanced than roles because they provide information about a user outside the scope of your program. But roles are sort of like uh, locked into just your program, and that that's its scope. <clears throat> so, but uh, I'm going to talk about, about claims a little bit more in depth later on, but not in this video. But basically, to summarize it, all you want to know is that roles contain users and users contain claims. So let's create some claims. So let's create an admin claim. So a new claim. And a claim is a key value pair. So let's give it a key of role and a value of admin and then a manager. So manager claim. And then again, let's use our user manager to add a claim to a user. So let's take our admin user and give him an admin claim. And again, get a waiter, get a result, posh posh. And for our manager, let's do the same.
Okay, so we have two users and basically we gave them two claims that describe their role. Now let's go ahead and create some authorization uh, rules. So let's go into our services and add authorization. And a quick reminder, difference between authentication and authorization. Authentication, when you log in, is basically saying, right, who are you? And authorization is then after you authenticate, you know something about the person, and then you're like saying, right, are you allowed to do this? So authorization is, are you allowed? So let's go into options here. And let's spec specify some conditions for allowing uh, our users to do something. So let's add a policy. And the policy is basically saying, right, our policy is don't be rude to our employees and you're allowed to shop here, right? So it's just a condition that you have to meet to do something. So what would be the name of the condition? Well, let's call them admin, right? So you have to be an admin and bring out our policy here and policy is require claim admin so you need a claim of admin to meet the policy admin and let's say manager and you need the claim manager cool right so we configured our authorization layer now let's go here and let's tell our app that yo we are going to be using um, authentication cool this will be it for this episode uh thanks for watching if you have any questions leave them in the comments uh i'll try to answer them uh, i know roles and claims can be a little bit confusing but if you're if you want to be patient or rather if you want more information in the future i'm going to release a video and uh, if a lot of you comment that you would like more information on this i will try to release that video sooner other than that again thanks for watching and see you in the next episode